Man, what's good, friends and family? Mr. Flip Flop here with another update. So people are like, Greg, what's going on? Curfew, no alcohol, vaccines. What the hell's happening over here? Well, let me give you the nitty gritty and give you the right breakdown on what's going on in Dominican Republic. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe, hit that like button, hit that notification bell so you know when I'm going live and you get notification on my videos. We're almost at 10,000. I got a bunch of giveaways. But while you're waiting, hit me on the email in the pinned comments. You can check all my Instagrams, all my emails. Join the Facebook page. Become a member of the channel. Paradise Life is blowing up. Flip Flop Channel is blowing up because of you guys. If you want to reserve any merchandise here in Dominican Republic, you can email me. I'll reserve your merchandise or you can hit the merch store for new merch. Stay tuned for more. So in my last video, I told you guys they decided to split up the curfew. Santo Domingo and 24 provinces have one curfew, and the North Coast, which includes the Sewer Porta Plata, has another curfew. So let me break it down for you again. As of today, the North Coast, which the North Coast, which includes Santiago, Porta Plata, Sasua, and a few other provinces, I named the basic ones that you guys will go to, still has 10 p.m. curfew Monday through Friday. And on weekends, 9 p.m. So that time does not change. We are still doing 10 p.m. on weekdays, 9 p.m. on weekends, with three-hour travel time till midnight to be outside. So this side, Porta Plata and Sasua, is still at the same exact time. Now, Santo Domingo and 24 provinces on that side and other, other, other cities, I named them in the first video, I won't give you all of them again, is at 6 p.m. Monday through Friday, 3 p.m. Saturday and Sunday. So they are being hit with a harder curfew because of the cases. Now, previously, remember, there was an issue with alcohol. At 3 p.m. in the entire country, they didn't make it clear before, they made it clear now. At 3 p.m. in the entire country, alcohol sales must stop. Now, you'll ask, well, Greg, what is this about? This doesn't make any sense. Well, the whole idea behind the previous eight days and the, the next eight days, by the way, this current situation goes until the 16th of June. So eight more days of this current situation. The reason for the alcohol is because they want people not getting drunk and going to get vaccinated. Uh, they just had, in the past four days, the highest vaccination numbers they've ever seen. The whole thing is a campaign called Vacunate, Vacunate Round, uh, va Vaccinate Dominican Republic, and they are pushing people to get vaccinated. Per the words of the president and some people in government, if you want to go to the club, if you want the curfew to end, if you want restrictions to end, go get vaccinated. And people are going to get vaccinated. So they're pushing harder and harder. Now, why do those 24 provinces, including Santo Domingo, have such a strict curfew? Because they have the most cases right now. This side, the cases have been going down further and further. More and more people are getting vaccinated. Stay tuned for my vaccination video when I'm done. Uh, my staff is vaccinated. Um, so just, you know, it's one of those things where they're pushing the country to get vaccinated because this country relies on tourism. So they're doing everything they can in a short period of time before the July 4th weekend. Shout to you guys. If you're not booked for July 4th, you need to book Paradise Life weekend, uh, Taylor May's birthday party weekend. Shameless plug, but not so shameless. So they're pushing for everybody to be close to almost vaccinated as America's doing. Uh, if you notice, Dominican Republic follows a lot of what America does. Biden said he wanted every state seven over 70% vaccinated by July 4th. DR is doing the same thing. 
And since Dominican Republic relies on tourism, they've already stated certain places in certain resorts, no one can work there unless they're vaccinated. So this is all a push to get the people vaccinated, to slow down the spread of the virus, and to also welcome more tourism. So what does the three o'clock alcohol mean for you? Well, guess what? If you're at a location, you just have to get your alcohol before three, or go shopping in the morning, go get some beer, go get some alcohol before three and put it in your room or your villa, etc. cetera. Uh, there is no business serving alcohol after 3 p.m., but you can have alcohol in your, in your villa, in your apartment, in your hotel, and you'll be straight. So stay tuned for more. As I said, the North Coast and the surrounding provinces, they call it the positive provinces, the provinces that are doing better, which includes Porta Plata, Sassua, is 10 p.m. on weekdays, 9 p.m. on weekends. The negative provinces, which includes Santo Domingo, the greater area, San Francisco, uh, bunch of, a bunch of provinces, I named them in the first video, excuse me, I won't bore, bore you with all those names again, is 6 p.m. weekdays, uh, 3 p.m. weekends, okay, and no alcohol anywhere in the country for the next eight days after 3 p.m. After 3 p.m., they're not selling alcohol. You cannot have alcohol in public or private places. You can have alcohol where you stay at, no problem, okay, so stay tuned for more. Guys, like, share, subscribe. Hit that merch store. We got some dope merch coming. If you have not gotten any Paradise Life merchandise, hit me up, man. You can reserve some merch at the at the restaurant. I got some dope merch coming. Keychains, uh, tank tops, all that. So stay tuned. Like, share, subscribe. Stay tuned for more. We're almost to 10,000. Appreciate all y'all. Mr. Flip Flop, I'm out. Welcome to Flip Flop. <laughs> What's good, friends and family? Mr. Flip Flop here. AKA Mr. Red Cup.